What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to my basic melee combat tutorial series for Unreal Engine 5. In this video we are going to be taking a look at how to add a weapon for the character and this weapon we're going to hit detect along the blade of it so it's going to be like a proper weapon hit detection thing for you know detecting for if the character hits the blade or not. If you want full access to the entire series, there's still one more part, which is an enemy AI that follows the player and attacks them. It's on Patreon, so I have it over there along with other tutorial series. Other than that, if you don't want to check out my Patreon, then that's completely fine. But don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Anyway, let us get started with opengamer.org. This is the sword that I'm going to be using. There's lots of sword meshes over here. So just find one that you want to use and use it. Um, I'm just going to use this one. It's also public domain, so I'm going to put it in the project files when I upload them to Patreon. So we have this sword. And I just want to import it into Unreal Engine. So I'm going to dock the layout. I'm going to make a new folder in the content folder and let's just drag all of those. We don't need them anymore. Let's just put them in the RPG warrior folder. Anyway, new folder. I'm going to call it sword. And then I just want to drag in the low poly sword into it. Import and also put in the texture. Now open the material. Um, or, you know, we don't even need this, so let's just first delete the material and then create one out of the texture. So right click, create material, and then this one, we have it. Let's just make it more metallic. So we want to place a constant metallic. I'm going to make it 0 0.7 and also roughness. I'm going to make it 0 0.2. And it should be fine. It doesn't really matter too much. If you're making a game, you're you're gonna have a better sword. But open the mesh thing and uh, put in the material. Now this is looking proper. It's it's a great sword. It's low poly and everything, but it's useful. It looks like a sword, so that's all we care about. Anyway, uh, we want to determine where the blade starts and where the blade ends on this mesh. So we want to go to the socket manager. And then add a socket. I'm going to call this blade start or just start. Let's just keep it simple. And we want to place it right where the blade starts. And then we're going to make another socket, call it end, and place it where the blade thing ends. Now we are going to go back to the character. And we want to go to the um, hit detect. Actually, no, before that, we want to go and place the mesh in here. So mesh, um, we're going to add static mesh, which is going to be the sword. So I'm just going to call it weapon and the static mesh search for sword. You can see it over here. I'm just going to scale it down, rotate it and place it near the character's hand. So all of this, you know, you're going to have better adjustments if you have your own animations, which, you know, an animation, for example, of a character holding a sword, uh, you need to place it properly. But for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the parent socket, the hand R. Then I'm going to reset the rotation and the also the location. And the scale, let's just make it uh, 0 0.25 for all of them. We can do that. Okay, we can do that. We just have to scale it like this. So yeah, you know what? This this is fine. Um, just make sure it looks like it's in the character's hand. That's all that matters for now. There we go. In my own game, I have this set up very properly. But, you know, for now, you know, this stuff it's all trivial. We just care about the code. So now we have the blade or sword over here. I just want to rotate it a little bit. Yeah, like this is fine. So now we want to um, make sure that uh, it detects the hits. So let me just show you an example. If you make the debug type for duration, 
Right now, it's only detecting the character's hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, get the mesh of the sword. So get the weapon and connect it in here. Or you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just ignore all of this for now and disconnect it. We're going to start over with it. So weapon, get socket location. And the socket name is going to be start. And we're also going to get the socket location of the end. The start is going to be here. The end is going to be here. The radius, let's just change it to 25 since the sword isn't that thick. And it should be fine. So let's give it a play. You can see it, it uh, checks the hits when the um, weapon, like it, it just follows the plate of the weapon and not really the character's hand. There are a few problems with it though. So first thing, you can see that it's actually pushed the other character and that is because of the collision of the weapon mesh. So you want to select it, go to the details panel and search for collision. And we're going to put in no collision and also, uh, yeah, that's, that's just it. Um, compile, that's perfect. Now what the second problem is, is that the animation has one of them hit with the left hand, which is supp supposed to detect the um, hits from the left hand. And that's really troublesome. So what we should do now is we need to uh, check the amount of attacks, same as we did here. And if that's, if that's true, then we're going to um, get the socket location of the hand R instead sorry the hand left sorry left hand so all of those we don't need anything in them we just care about option three what we are going to be doing is we are going to be disconnecting both of those and i know this is very specific you really don't need to do this especially if you are working with a different uh, pack or something but yeah i'm just fine with it um because you know, I want it to be perfect, a, a, a little perfect series. So you can see that um, attack count is the index. And then we have four options. Only option three is supposed to check the socket location of the left hand. So I'm just going to copy this. So get the character mesh, get socket location, hand left connect it to option three. And for the other options, you want to connect them all to the weapon start. So like this. And for the end, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to copy all of this, paste it here. I know it's very, very troublesome and it makes it look a little bit ugly. But yeah, personally, like if I was making the animation, I wouldn't put in that kind of animation where they hit with the left hand but in case you do this is how to fix it uh also the radius i want to decrease it even more to something like uh, 20 20 is fine now if we hit compile and go into play you can see when they attack with their left hand it's perfect so now i want to turn off the debug type thing and I want to check one more thing, which is the character's attacking animation. So where is it? Input action attack. I feel like this delay is a little bit too long, so I'm going to make it two seconds instead. And also, and I also want to connect uncompleted to a turn off attacking as well. So that uh, if it completes, uh, there won't be any like trouble with turning this back on. So if we go and hit play, let's see if that's better. Yeah, you can see it's a little bit better. It won't delay so much after finishing the combo. So now if we go there, keep hitting this character, they will die and they will get destroyed. And we have our weapon ready, which is perfect. So 
I think I have one more video to make in this series, which is the enemy AI. And after that, I'll be able to um, like finish it, consider it complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care, have a great day, and bye.